Hi everyone, Mrs. Kane here. Um, today we're gonna do a very quick little project for your asynchronous learning. Um, this is really just a skill that you should practice frequently just to practice drawing and it will help you become better at drawing. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you and I'm going to show you a one line portrait. Okay, so one line portrait, which is what we're gonna be creating today. And you may choose to do a portrait of a person, or you could choose to do a portrait of a creature, like a made up creature, or you could even do an animal, okay? We're only gonna use one line, which means our pencil is not going to be lifted off the paper. I want you to keep your pencil on the paper the whole time and just work with one long continuous line, okay? We're gonna be using what are called contour lines. Contour lines are the lines that represent the outline of something, and they're also used to represent the interior of that form. So for example, if you were to outline a face, and then you also have the inside features of the face that are aligned. So this is a portrait of Mickey Mouse. Now this is not a one line portrait like we're gonna make, but this shows what, what, what contour lines are. There's no shading, just the lines showing the features and the outline of this face. We're gonna do a one-line portrait, um, similar here to what you have seen Pablo Picasso do. He's famous for um, the cubism style of artwork, um, which we'll talk more about in class, but you can see he's doing some different artwork using just one line, okay? And this is still being used today. So I saw a movie recently with my own kids named Soul from Disney Pixar, and I saw all of these um, characters, they were all named Jerry. So if you've seen the movie, you know who these characters are. And if you look closely at these characters, they are made out of a single line. So the whole character is made out of a single line. So you could do something like that, or you can create a portrait today. Okay, let me show you a short little clip from the movie Soul for those of you who have not seen it. And you can see what the what the Jerry's look like. And let me just make sure I turn the sound. Sorry about that. Let me make sure it has sound. Jerry. So it's got a lost mentor for you. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, look, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be here. I understand. Mentoring isn't for everyone. You're more than welcome to opt out. Uh, actually, on second thought, you know, the mentoring sounds like fun. I'm glad to hear it. Jerry will take it from here. Thanks, Jerry. Head right on over there to Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Is everyone here named Jerry? Good luck. Okay, so you can see from... You can see from the movie, Disney Pixar Soul, that the artist used single lines to create the characters of Jerry. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we can quickly make a one line portrait. Like I said, you can look at a family member if um, sometimes it's easier to do a contour line when you're actually looking at somebody, or if you have a pet, you could look at your pet, um, or you can just make up your own, your own design. All right, so we're just gonna do something um, a little strange, something that we haven't um, really practiced before. And you might make a mistake and that's okay, right? This is just a drawing practice to be kind of silly and see what you come up with. Um, and if you just really like it, you can finish it by coloring it or you can just leave it as just a pencil line drawing. I'm gonna start here by making an eye, so making an almond shape. You could make your eyes circular, okay? It doesn't matter how you make your eyes. Coming back around, notice I haven't picked up my pencil. And I'm gonna come down and make a nose. And then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna make a smile. And I'm gonna come down and start a chin up and around. It really helps if you are looking at something that you want to draw and you aren't even necessarily focused so much on your paper. And then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna make, making a portrait of me, and I always have this side ponytail here. Okay, so here's an example of a one line portrait. Notice I didn't pick up my pencil at all, and I just continued 
moving around the paper, making this design. Now you can try again if you wanted to make more of an animal or a creature, or if you wanted to make one of the Jerry's, you can try and make, now the Jerry's change throughout the movie. You can look up on your computer or your, your iPad, you can look up some pictures of the Jerry's from the Pixar movie, um, Soul. And notice again, I'm not picking up my line. I'm just making a silly drawing with all just one line. And sometimes it doesn't work out the way that we want it to. But that's okay, we don't pick up the pencil. We just keep going with it. Keep working through the drawing and see what we end up coming up with. Okay, so here's an example of um, one of the Jerry's. And like I said, you can, um, you can keep this as just a pencil drawing. If you wanna come in and do some outlining, you can do that to finish it up, make it look a little bit more like that Pablo Picasso um, horse drawing. And you can even get very silly with this. Obviously this is abstract. It's not something that's 100% um, realistic. And so you can even come in and if you wanna add some really interesting, strange colors, you can do that. You can think back to some of the things that we've talked about, even how some of the colors have different moods and different feelings. Um, you can maybe, you're feeling sad or happy, what colors you, might you associate with that? So you can come in and if you wanna, if you really like how it came out, you can, do some coloring and finish up your picture, okay? Like I said, you can try a Jerry, you can try a, try a character, you could just, you know, practice just even the idea of, I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna make some wild, maybe this is gonna be just some kind of wild creature. that isn't even, I'm kind of making my own character, right? So when you think about Disney's Pixar, whoever designed that, right, came up with a design on their own. They started just drawing and coming up with the design. So you can try and make your own character, you can do a portrait, you could do a Jerry, um, oh, that kind of bled through there. You could do a Jerry or you can um, do a pet from your house or you could even draw an object, okay? I wanna see what you can do with just a single line pencil drawing, a one line portrait. And I want you to just have fun with it and practice. this is a great way to practice your drawing skills. Okay, I hope you enjoy your asynchronous day at home and I can't wait to see you guys back in class.